Hey everyone, this is our mini series on getting things done from a biblical perspective. What we are talking about today is the four list that you use to sort out your tasks. So in the last episode, we talked about our inbox and how initially you do a brain dump and then you put everything that you need to get done in an inbox. These are all your tasks, all your projects, all of the things, the roles and responsibilities you have that you are getting out of your head and onto a piece of paper that you know that you need to do. Basically, it's just a really big to-do list. Well, then if you have such a big to-do list and you've gathered up all these things, it can be really hard to know the next action on them. Part of our issue with our to-do list is we have all of these things written out, but we don't realize the next action for all of them. We don't know what that is. We haven't thought deeply about what we need to do. Really, a lot of our next actions or our things on our to-do list are really a big project. There's something that requires multiple steps to actually get done. And so what you have to do is you have to look at your big brain dump and figure out what is a task that's a next action and what is something that requires a little bit more thinking to figure out what you need to do. So this is where your four lists come in. So what you have to do after you've done your initial brain dump and you wrote down everything that you need to do, the next thing that you need to do is you need to sort out your tasks into four different lists. So the first list is a do now list. The next list is a next actions list. Then you have your waiting for list and your someday list. I'm going to talk about what each one of these are. So your do now list is whenever you're going through this brain dump or later on, whenever you do your weekly reviews, you need to go through and do these actions right away. Normally these will be like pay for a bill if that's something that's really easy to do um, or contact this person. Maybe it's a quick email or a text message. So these are just quick things. Maybe it's, you know, go take the Goodwill box and put it in the, in the car. And then that way you are ready to go, ready to take it to Goodwill. So these are just quick actions. And so you write those down on a list and the goal is you want to do them right away. So uh, as, while you are writing down or sorting through your list, as soon as you do that, you take this list and go ahead and finish it up. You don't even necessarily need to write these things down, but I know I'm motivated that way. So I like to write it down and then check it off immediately after that, just because it motivates me. Then after you do your next actions uh, or your do now list, the next thing that you have to do is your next actions list. So this is looking through your projects, the ones that are current that you need to do right now, that you're prioritizing right now, you need to figure out exactly what you need to do for each of those actions. So what I would recommend is sorting them up, sorting them out into places. So basically you could say at your desk, at your computer, on your phone, uh, errands, so like out on the town, uh, things that you can do at home, and then miscellaneous. So other things that you might need to maybe just decide. A lot of times I think we procrastinate a little bit because we have decisions that we need to make. And so I would sort out this list. And again, this would be basically for your next week. This would be your to-do list. So with each of these, make sure as you write down the next action that it's not a big thing. Let's say one of your tasks is plant a garden. Well, if you plant a garden, it could be that you're just literally talking about planting. Or it could be that maybe this is like, okay, it's April. You've always had this idea that you wanted to plant a garden. You need to get it done, but you don't really know how. So the first step would be research how to plant a garden. Then it would be get your soil ready. Then it would be get the seeds. Then it would be plant the garden. Then it would be set up the hoses. Then it would be make sure you have your weeding stuff. You could see how it kind of snowballs into all of these little tasks. So some of your tasks are just one thing. Maybe by planting the garden, you're saying, no, I'm going to go put the seeds in the garden. But if it's just this kind of amorphous, I would like to do this thing, the first step in your next actions list should be plan it out. Then some of your tasks will be things that really the ball is not in your court. It's in somebody else's and you're waiting for it. So I would, I would write those things down. I would say when, who you contacted, what you contacted them about and when, and then every week or so on your, uh, whenever you're doing your weekly review, you could follow up with them or just kind of touch base with them. But you know, because of this, the ball is not in your court it is in theirs. And so they're responsible for it. Now, the last list is your someday list. So these are things that you would like to do, but you couldn't do right now. So maybe you just had a new baby. You would like to plant a garden, but 
even though that's on your to-do list, is really not the time. And so that would go on your someday list. This would be things like big goals, places you want to travel, um, any kind of, you know, hobbies or interests, any kind of big job changes, house moves, those big dreams and projects. You could start working on them now, but they may just need to stay on your someday list. Things will move each week from list to list. You'll hear back from somebody, so it'll go off your waiting for list. You uh, have a next action that maybe is moved to your someday list. Some of your someday stuff is moved to your next action list. It's, it's permeable, but the goal is that you have everything captured on that list. So hopefully this is interesting um, to you. And if you would like to have the list, you can find those on amorebeautifullifecollective.com. And I hope you'll join me for the next episode.